Okay, battery is at 52.3%. Everything on the trailer in the trailer is off. Um, apart from this is just a sort of standby power draw. And we've got 88.84 amp hours left. Okay, I've removed the the panel surface for the power converter. And we can see currently this is still set up to be working with um, lead acid batteries rather than lithium batteries. I've also disconnected the solar panels so there is no power being drawn in by them. I'm going to plug in the trailer now. It's jumped up to 200 watts. The battery is at 50%, and so this is how quickly it seems to, the fastest it will charge. The only reason this AC power is being used is to charge the battery. So let's go check what the charge current is for the battery. Okay, and the charge going into the battery is 10.6 amps. So I'm going to disconnect the cord now and then change the setting on the charge controller. Okay, so try and switch this over. Okay, it's on there. So hopefully, because on this board there isn't a switch the instructions say there's going to be a switch, but I think this is as good as it's going to get. So let's see if it's changed anything to the charge profile. Okay, so there we are, plugging it in. Well, that has jumped up a lot. So we were maxing out at two, uh, 200 watts, 180 watts. And now we're at 530, 540 watts. Let's go take a look at the current going into the battery. And look at that. We've almost got 30 amps flowing into the battery right now. And we're at 52%, so exactly the same conditions as before, but just changing that little switch over on the converter has gone from 10 amps to 30 amps.